You think you're going to see a lot more violence? And the response is going to be, we got to crack down on crime. So the worse crime becomes, the harder they're going to crack down on us. They'll use it just as the UK, just as the United States used 9-11 to rape out us of constitutional rights. The UK is using that over there, the example that happened in, in the Rottingdam, whatever the place was, that, to crack down on civil liberties. So that's where we're going. It's only going to get much worse. Uh, and you were talking about John William Shadow stats, the Great Depression. Look at housing. How many times did they say that the real estate market was turning around? It's worse. It's worse than it was during the Great Depression. And it's only going to get worse. Well, Gerald, my next uh, question is uh, basically going back to Janet Napolitano. She's now criticizing the Drudge Report uh, for carrying my articles and others that broke down the fraud of DHS, lying about the radiation levels, lying and saying we don't grab genitals, we don't go in the pants, we're not saving the images. All of that they've been caught lying about. Uh, all, all the crimes being committed by these people, because who else would want this horrible job? Who else would take a job standing you know, around all these microwave oven x-ray systems now we learn they have eight times the national average at the boston logan where they first put the scanners in seven years ago so, so right there it's a crazy group of people uh and and she's out attacking the media for uh, for basically calling her a jackboot uh, i mean this is incredible she's telling us we're wrong about jackbootism when clearly that's what homeland security is trying to set up in this country and, and my next issue for you is that i know that uh uh, somebody uh, near and dear to the Trends Research uh, crew uh, has been uh, arrested uh, for having her body painted, something very popular uh, there in New York City. At the same time, we have the just incredible crime uh, exploding. I see reports of New York police ticketing pregnant women that sit on a park bench uh, too long or or uh, uh, people who are caught smoking cigarettes on the street. I mean, the harassment is really kicking into high gear. Exactly, this is what happens when societies break down. Why, look how the people hated the cops in Egypt. They keep breaking down the little people. Yeah, Zoe West, it's all over the news. Wall Street Journal, The Post, the UK Mail. And she was, she's a, an actress. She just finished her role as, as You Like It, a Shakespearean role this week. And she got her body painted in Times Square uh, this past week. Five of New York City's finest pounced on her, put her in handcuffs. You have to see these pictures of a 96-pound girl as during the weekend, as you point out, 48 shootings. Yeah, there's more crimes in the naked city than a naked 20 one-year-old little girl whose body's painted and you couldn't tell she was naked unless you really looked up close. So this is what they're doing, Alex. Any little minor violation, it's screw the people, screw the people, and if the people don't stand up and take action, and I'm proud of Zoe for what she did, she had the guts to do it as everybody else is being mowed down when these motor mouths like Napolitano and the rest of them keep telling us what we should believe, what we should do, what we should think. And here's my favorite. As this economy is crashing, you start hearing these Wall Street wankers start yelling out, you know, we need some policy decisions by the Federal Reserve and the European Central Bank. They're the Bankers. ones that got us into this, and we're hearing that the wonderful, delicate geniuses, as you call them, the precious geniuses, they're going to have new plans. Well, they did create a plan. Trillions in Ponzi schemes, they made money on the way up. Then they hold everybody hostage saying, give us more trillions or everything will fail. And now they've screwed things up, as you and many others predicted they would, as common sense in the market shows. And now their answer is, let us set up a bank of the world and pay us VAT taxes and carbon taxes. That'll fix it. You know, I, look, listen, in closing, uh, uh, here with you, Gerald, I really want you uh, to 
break down any other trends that you see coming in the next six months to a year. Uh, because you did, I remember three years ago on my show, four years ago, predicting the tax rebellion, what's become the Tea Party. And, and, and now the lawlessness, and all over Europe, people are blowing up traffic cameras, blowing up surveillance cameras, spray painting them uh, all over the place. Farmers aren't putting up with GMO being, uh, being grown. And we're starting to see that rebellion here in the U.S. People attack the speed cameras so much in Arizona, they've removed them. So the truth is, the corrupt white shoe boys are powerless when people start to stand up and recognize what they are. So, so you've told us the bad that's coming. What other bad do you see, but also what other good trends uh, do you see? I mean, are we going to see uh, the head of Goldman Sachs, who's gotten the big criminal lawyer from Enron? Are we going to see him indicted? What's coming? You know, you're not going to see any of the big heads roll. All the attention is going to go down to the little people. And they'll keep making examples of us. We're seeing a collapse happening. It's an economic collapse worldwide. China's not going to make it out of it. Brazil's not going to. That old saying, when America sneezes, the world catches a cold. We're the largest consumers, hands down. Us in Europe are going under. And what we're telling people is, know where your money is because we're going to see bank failures one after another. Yeah, I'm understanding from, from people in Greece, they're having trouble getting their money out of the banks. And that banks from uh, Europe are starting to safe haven money over here. This thing is running out of control, and we're telling people to take proactive measures. Number two, look for a false flag attack, be it terror, something along the line, along fear and hysteria. Things are going to get very ugly. Crime is going to escalate at levels we've never seen before. And it's going to be, it's going, the prostitutes are going to keep coming out with these phony figures, just like they do with inflation, just like they do with, with unemployment. They're going to come out with them like that in crime. You're not, you better learn how to protect yourself. And you know, my three G's, Gerald Salenti's three G's, gold, guns, and a getaway plan. Because well, that's, it's that's not my final, be nice. That's my final uh, question for you, Gerald. We saw Katrina. The government wouldn't, couldn't help, cut the police power uh, lines, cut their communications so FEMA could be the boss because the local police weren't following their orders. Uh, we saw uh, FEMA then go into high and dry areas, take guns. Uh, we saw FEMA ordering everybody around with a little hurricane that hit New York, posing as saviors. They've shown up in Austin with the wildfires, telling everybody to stand down and come to them for orders. They've taken our National Guard, sent them overseas, and so instead we get a bunch of FEMA people. You know, my issue is government can't and won't protect you. But in the Great Depression, we had 90% of people that were rural self-sufficient. Now we're over 90% that are urban and not self-sufficient. If 7 million people died or starved to death from complications and malnutrition in the Great Depression and then the Great Dust Bowl, what are we talking about in a total collapse here? I mean, is this going to be like uh, the road or something? Uh, with Vigo Mortensen? I mean, is this going to be some type of hellish situation? Because if we do have a global complete collapse, uh, my God, it, it's going to be epic what happens. It's the beginning of the first great war of the 21st century. It's already happening. And what they do, for instance, you go over when it happened over in the Middle East, what did they say in Egypt? Well, you know, it's Islamo-fascists. And the same thing in Bahrain. And then when it happens in the UK, they call it hooligans. And it's going to happen in the US, and they're going to say, oh, it's those tea partiers. And when it happens over in Greece, they call it the anarchists. The war is underway. It's class warfare. It's off with their heads 2.0. It's going to be a battle between the, the haves and the have-nots, and only a very few have everything, and way too many have much too little. Gerald Salente, thank you. Uh, you know, the great uh, thing about our TV show is that it's always 30 minutes, but when we need to, we can go longer here at InfoWarsNews.com and uh, the new uh, weeknight transmission. And we really appreciate your tireless work. Now more than ever, alternative media is becoming the mainstream media. That's why we're hearing about internet kill switches, that's why we're hearing about shutting down people for their speech. We're seeing more and more reports that 
people criticizing government and being pessimist. We're causing the problems. No, we're pointing out the authors of our economic destruction. And out of this crisis, we could wake people up and have a reawakening to liberty and freedom. And it's thanks to the trendsjournal.com and trendsresearch.com that we're able to do this. Gerald, for folks that want to get your uh, trend alerts, one went out yesterday, or they want to get the quarterly uh, detailed Trends Research Journal, how do they find out more? Trendsjournal.com, trendsjournal.com. And Alex, we know people are having a difficult time. We have a discount request page there. Just fill it out. We'll do our very best to get it to you because the purpose of the Trends Journal is twofold, to inspire people so that they could take their future into their own hands and also prepare them for what comes ahead. And I thank you for what you're doing, but I have to correct you. You're not, all, you're not alternative media. You're the mainstream media. The other one's alternatives. The alternative for losers that want to keep staying lost. ABC, CBS, NBC, the houses of prostitution. Well, more and more we are becoming the new media, the dominant media, and that's why the system is panicking. And you're absolutely right. I, I think one of the last dominoes to fall is that we don't realize we are the majority, but all the numbers, all the research, all the polls, 85% of Americans want to abolish uh, the Fed or at least audit it. Uh, people are really waking up, and that's why, that's why the system is trying to set up this police state. Gerald Salente, thank you so much for joining us. Hey, thank you, Alex. All right, folks, there goes Gerald Salente. Be sure and check out his websites at trendsjournal.com and trendsresearch.com. Our websites, of course, are infowars.com, prisonplanet.tv and prisonplanet.com. We're fighting the creation of a prison planet run by modern 21st century uh, oligarchs trying to put us on the global plantation with the info war. Hence infowars.com and prisonplanet.com. I want to thank Paul Watson for joining us earlier with his excellent uh, breakdown of the fact that al-Qaeda uh, is now admittedly being put into power in Libya and that the official 9-11 fable is now being uh, put into the textbooks for our young, uh, helpless people that have been turned over to the government training centers. I want to thank the crew and everyone that makes InfoWars nightly news possible. And we'll see you back unless the wildfires get to us here, and they're pretty close. Uh, Lord willing, tomorrow night, Wednesday evening, 7 p.m. Central. And of course, with Alex Jones Live, that's the radio slash TV show from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central every single weekday as well. I'm Alex Jones signing off from the front lines of the Info War. We'll see you back tomorrow live. <laughs>